Welcome to Hardcraft Stadium, birthplace of the Micro Hard Mutilators. Today's game brought to you by Micro Hard Crash and Burn Technologies. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The San Francisco 49ers take on the Micro Hard Mutilators. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I'm going to get on now. You know what happened? Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs. Newtons, I'd like to fuck. He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you halfwit. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime milk lingerie girls team. What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all. Oh, oh, va, 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 boom. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. He's not just burning down the house, he's taking it to the house. Holy crap! He mistimed the spikes and ends up dead! Life is full of misery, Grim. Loneliness, suffering. And then it's over much too soon. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Any mistakes here? Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, monster hit! Scratch him off the roster. He's a goner. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji, the new game from Wilton Crabtree. And that'll bring up second and one. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. Nice catch. And he turns on the after. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. 
Second down and seven. And this game is up for grabs. Second down and seven. That's a four-yard gain. Third down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot for a first down. And it's first and ten. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. <laughs> they use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. Don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Now it's all fun and games until he tries break dancing. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps outside trying to... <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Oh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. forever the defense better look out the offense called the beast boost dirty trick oh and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him he's at the 40 he's at the 30 just follow the bloody footprints to the new line that's a first down okay and they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. You can tell he's a berserker because he's... Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. And the offense retains... He runs it for three.
The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Edition. In stores now. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Boom! <laughs> and it's first and ten. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular. And in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out a flimsy low hand's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth thrown out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something You Think About You. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Not unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go. He's on... Oh, he was hitting mid-hurdle and fumbles the ball. Stud bricks. Yeah, tell him me. Nice run. No, I mean he's a real stud. He works at the mutant stud farm weekends and summers. Perfect pass and a score. If you pay close attention, kids, you'll see his steps are making a perfect pentagram. Some of your own demons at home. <laughs> No, why go for one when you can go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. And that's a good by the numbers throw. And those numbers add up to two. The home crowd isn't in 
impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Are steer clear of them. The kicker just ended up in the meat wagon. They'll need to find another player on their bench who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. And it's first and ten. Quarterback can be hurting or dead or worse. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down in a very lot. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Third down and well, good luck. And he was stuck to him like glue. Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? Nice play, you moron. He said balls, not bells. And the defense won that one handily. The offense fails on fourth down and turns the ball over. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. Third down in. The punter is warming up. One. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nice. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, win. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic person. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. How do you like your defense is cooked? The ball carried oh, with the brain scrambler. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. This is your brain, and this is your brain on first. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Uh, hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. First and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 
Finds it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Oh, man, he really wants it. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Five-yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. Get and they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Hot two. Hot three. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Third down and three. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Quinn. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. If the defense, the quarterback burns his last timeout, they can't stop the clock anymore. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a... If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. One. And he throws that one to the sidelines. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Touch That Right Clip. That penalty makes no sense. Hey, it's something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. Second down and more. The offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. With a brutal hit. Third down and forever. The mutilators were certainly mutilated and go home losers. They battled hard but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it. So Mutant Football League Dynasty Edition. In stores now.